ESPN got their power rankings out. It just dropped. Top 13 teams. Knicks is six in the East, according to ESPN. Um, I mean, you already know how. I, I, We're going we to get into it, how, about, how I feel about it. Um, the Knicks is behind the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, uh, Milwaukee Bucks, Boston, 76ers, the Heat, and Cleveland. So the Knicks find themselves behind those teams. There are six. Do you feel like that's high? Do you feel like that's low? They finished fifth last season. Um, Chris, what you thinking on this? What's your What's your take? Which um, side are you going? I think it's a little low. Um, and that's contingent on. Obviously, I don't. I don't think the Knicks should be behind Cleveland. Um, uh. the Knicks. The Knicks um, convincingly beat Cleveland last year. Um, and I think the Knicks, like the Knicks have their, their core back coming back next year. The entire star lineup is back next year. So I think with that being said, going into the season, they're only going to get better. Right? They have another training camp together. They have another season together. They just learned a lot about each other mm-hmm. from last season going into this season. And I feel like they're just going to come back even better. Um, so I think they should be in front of Cleveland. The other team that I feel like they should be in front of too is Miami, only because I think Miami took some big losses. Yeah, it's off season. Um, the loss of Gabe Vincent, the loss of Max Struess. Those are two key players. Um, in their rotation, that had a major impact. Yeah, that had a major impact in their finals run. You know, and losing those two players, I think that impacts it too. And the Knicks again, they're bringing back their their core their entire starting lineup is back their main guys and i think they're just going to be better um i'm on the fence a little bit about the sixers because obviously everyone is waiting to see what's going to go on with james harden we don't know what the sixers are going to get back yeah but if he stays i could i could say okay with that the knicks but i don't think the sixers are far ahead of the knicks i think the knicks are are right there henny Um, what you got where you got to? Um, where you got it at? I think they're gonna end up fifth. I got Bucks ahead of them, Celtics, um, Cavaliers, um, and 76ers. Even with even without James Harden, I still think they still have the MVP. So that just solidifies their team. Um, yeah, they got a new coach in Nick Nurse, but Nick Nurse is an excellent coach and uh. With with Tibbs being the coach he is, and he likes to stay in his ways, he tends to uh, lose games because of coaching. So that's that's why I got um, that's why I have uh, 76ers ahead of him just because of Nick Nurse and Joe, Joel Embiid. Um, I think I think Sixes. I don't think the Heat, like Chris said, I don't think the Heat are better just because they lost their the, the players that. That got them to the finals, so I think they they'll be in the playing again. So I have I have I have Knicks at five. I don't think they. I have yeah I got I got Knicks at five. Okay, I got Knicks at three. You guys are drunk. First of all, I don't know how you got Cleveland Cavaliers in front of the Knicks. I have them at four. You had them at four. Yeah, I said I said Cleveland shouldn't be in front of them. Yeah, Kenny's Kenny's drunk. Um, but before we get to say why well, Henny's drunk, well, well, you got them at four. I just want to be clear. Four, you who you had ahead of them? I only I had Boston. Uh huh. Boston, the Bucks, and I said the Sixers. I give them a slight, slightly over. Boston, and like Bucks, Henny, Henny's, Henny, Boston, Henny's Boston. point. It was it was because of Joel Embiid. I mean, I give them that slight, and we don't know what's going on with James Harden. But if James Harden's there, yeah, I give them the edge over the Knicks. But I don't think it's a big gap. Like I don't think they're far off from the Sixers. I think, I think the Sixers are like three A and the Knicks are three B, like that. You know. Yeah, I got the Knicks being third. See, see, I got them being third in the East, but behind Boston and Milwaukee. Um, I don't see. The, I mean, they like you said, they beat Cleveland convincingly, right? Um, Cleveland did add Max Strus and they added George Nyang, um, two shooters. Uh, but they still didn't address their rebounding, um, which is probably why they lost in the in the in the first round, um, and the fact they couldn't shoot. But they addressed one of them. What out of the two issues? Uh, fifth, 
I I I have I have seventy sixes. I don't think that they're they're that good. Um I think that they're gonna fall apart, especially because of what's happening with James Harden, because he's comfortable in being and, and with being uncomfortable in that situation, um, per his cryptic tweet. Um so I feel like they're gonna f- slide down. Boston. Even though I have Boston, you know, ahead of the Knicks, I have Boston and Milwaukee, top two teams. Milwaukee being that they're, you know, they just been together for a favor, and they probably got the best play in the East, right? Um, but I feel like Boston's gonna slide. I feel like Boston's gonna slide down more than people will will believe or 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 can foresee. Um, KP. Chris Christoph Pozinkas is probably not going to give them what they think he's going to give them. He's probably not going to be able to play as much games. Um, and Al Horford is getting older. I just don't see the longevity in an 82 game season for them to finish top two. I think they're probably going to end up being fourth. Um, with that being said, I have Knicks third. Um, who is going to be the second seed? I don't know, but I think I have Milwaukee one. I have Knicks third. I have Boston falling. I have Miami not even having this conversation with Miami. I have so the Atlanta Hawks. I have the Atlanta Hawks. That is going to be the team that is going to be a top six seed. So those are the, the Atlanta Hawks is going to swap with Miami. So Atlanta Hawks may have. So who a, do you have at two? Who do you have over the? I don't. Knicks? I don't have. I don't know who I have at two, but I know I have the Knicks at three. And that's the problem. Let's talk about it. Like, I have, I feel like the 76ers aren't better. I feel like the Heat aren't better, right? I feel like Cleveland isn't better. That's three. Boston, maybe. I feel like Boston might slide. But I don't know who's going to take that second position. I feel like it's going to be a team that that we're not talking about. I think it may be Atlanta. Maybe Atlanta. Um, It may be something crazy like the Pacers. I just think it may be somebody that we don't know is happening. Like, that's going to come out of nowhere. So it's one of those teams. Yeah. I mean, I can't disagree with the Pacers. The Pacers, Pacers could make a, real, a big leap this year. They got Rick Carlisle. He's an awesome coach. Miles Turner is great right. center. Obi Toppin got something to prove. Ty- Tyrese um, Halliburton. Tyrese Halliburton. He's a Buddy, Buddy, Hill. Buddy Hill. Best shooter in the league, right? Percentage-wise. And they did Matherin. Better did Matherin. Sec- second season. Second year. second year. They got Bruce Brown, too. Oh, like, yeah. I, I feel Jabari, like... Jabari, Jabrace Walker, I believe his name is. The rookie that they picked up. Yeah. I mean... They got, they, got, they, got some, they got some things... I'm sorry about this paper, but... They got some... um. Some 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 team building that's happening over there.